So in our last C-Star S50 video, we did an amazing processing of the Orion Nebula, but we used a Pixinsight. We basically threw as much dollar amount of software as the telescope costs, which to me is okay. And it demonstrated that like, hey, this little telescope can punch well above its weight if you are interested in doing more of the image processing and less of the whole live stacking sharing the experience, which is still amazing anyway. My name is Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel. We're going to play with some photons today. What we're going to talk about is the SETI Astro Suite. Now, SETI Astro Suite is a new four or five month invention of SETI Astro Frank, who has been developing all kinds of awesome stuff for us astrophotographers over basically the past year, I would say, if not longer. And over the past four or five months, his basically passion project has been to bring everybody a amazing free all in one place that will do all of the stuff that you need to do with your sea star data or any astronomical data. We're talking everything from stacking to noise reduction to star reduction, all of that stuff that is going to be included in there. Frank pushes out multiple updates to this thing. He's constantly working on it. And just seeing how fast he has developed this compared to other software programs that are out there, boy, where is this going to go in another year or two? It's really amazing. So he's been on a Sea Star and Dwarf data kick. And so I am working currently on a full processing tutorial for some Sea Star data. And hopefully my clouds will go away so I can get some even all better Sea Star data for us to work with. But what I want to show you is just one of the cool things that I think you guys are really going to enjoy on why you would want to use this software. So this is an image of Orion, the same one, and we left it in the normal size and format. So that way everybody's kind of familiar with it. I've went through and I've used a bunch of the tools that are built into here. So we've got like his cosmic clarity, which is his denoise and his char sharpening program and all of that kind of stuff. We've stretched it, done all that. But the coolest thing that I want you guys to see is have you ever wanted to have like a Hubble palette picture out of your little sea star? Well, with this, you can. So SETI Astro developed this tool called the perfect palette picker. So inside of your C star, you have what is called a duo narrow band filter, which basically is a pretty wide range filter that focuses on hydrogen alpha and oxygen wavelengths. Now, what we can do in the perfect palette picker here, as you can see, is we can load in our image. So we're going to go right here to one shot color ha03 which is what you have and i'm just going to find my image here and go ahead and select that i've got it saved in a slot right now which is uh, right up here slot zero and i'm going to click on create palettes and it's basically already done that i believe because i've tested this out before we did anything and all you got to do is just kind of look around here and say, what do I want to process this in? Well, there's your SHO, which is your Hubble palette. And, you know, you might be used to seeing two or three different colors or something like that. Don't worry. We can get around to that as well. We can do a better version of what we just got out of our C star with the HOO, which does a lot better color rendition than what you're going to get with any other software. We can shift things around to do an HSO, HOS. We can do focus truly on the oxygen, different colors. We can also do black and white because black and white surveys are amazing. Or we can do a realistic or the Forex palette, which is a very fun and interesting palette that a lot of people are using now. Now, even though the title of this is a do Hubble palette, well, I'm going to go ahead and process out this Forex palette 
because there's a lot more different color variations for us to work with here. So all I'm gonna do is come over here and click on push for final processing. And there we go. It has basically made that for us. So now we can go into our main image viewer and here is our image. We can zoom in, zoom out and do all of that kind of fun stuff. And inside of the SETI Astro Suite, we have all of the cool stuff in here where we can go into our curves, we can create masks. So if we wanna make a little mask here real quick and just work on certain colors of the images, we can do that. And then once you are inside of here, you can do anything that you want to do. I mean, we can go ahead and we can start dragging on our curves utility here and we can, you know, increase the saturation and the colors. We can decrease them a little bit if we want to. We can even go in and create masks to work on individual stuff. So we can select with a little drawing pencil that he has that let's just say we want to work just on this area right here. We can go ahead and do that. And let's say we want that to be a chrominance mask, which is for our colors. We can click on preview mask. We can actually go back out. Let's blur that a little bit and preview mask, save mask. And we're going to put that mask into a slot. And now what we can do is we can close this out. We can apply that mask. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to affect the saturation inside that masked area. So you can see we're just turning up the saturation right there. And then if we wanted to, we could go into our masks and we could actually invert the mask. So that way we're only working on the stuff that is on the outside. Well, I know it's in here somewhere. I just can't find it right now. I am still diving deep into the SETI Astro Suite. But as you can see, the point is proven. The perfect palette picker is just an amazing tool that you can have for free to play with endless possibilities of your C star. And then you could again, go in and do different masks. You can ask, mask out certain colors, certain areas of the image and just play with them until your heart is content. So I hope this gives you guys even more excitement about your C star S fifties and S thirties. I know I'm excited for mine. It's sitting back there. I've got the tripod and everything else. We just need a clear night now so we can collect some data on this thing. In the meantime, check out SETI Astro YouTube channel so that way you can learn everything about how to download all of this stuff. He's got all the instructions that you can have on there. And if you like everything that we're doing here on the channel, don't forget you can click that join member and you can click that join button and become a member to the channel and help support everything that we are doing here till then. I appreciate all you guys. We will talk to you later and peace.